Hey guys! Okay, so I'm gonna do my August favorites. And just to let you know, I just did my hair tutorial. And I'll link that right here if you guys want to skip on ahead to that. So let me just get started in my haul. I mean, my haul. That's how much I shop. The first thing on my list is Bare Minerals Lipstick in Never Say Never. And I got this at Beautycon for free just for Instagramming their little setup. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it right here. This is just a very pretty lipstick. It's a little bit darker and more moisturizing than Candy Yum Yum, which I love. And I'll swatch it. Oh, yeah. And if you guys see this, I did some FX. Don't mind that. I swatched it in my other video, but I'll swatch it again. It is very moisturizing. And usually when lipsticks are very moisturizing, you have to keep on applying it and applying it. But this one, I put it on once and it stays for like hours. So I love that. I enjoy it more because I got it for free. The next thing on my list is a limited edition item that I got a while back and it's the mineralized skin finish in Redhead. And I forgot what collection this came out in but I just fell in love with this thing again. If you see there's like four different shades so if you want to just pick up this highlight color you can, this one you can, or just swirl them all around and get one color. I have it on my cheekbones right now, I don't think you can really see the lighting sucks. The thing I love about this is you will never run out, like are you kidding me? Like you get your money's worth. She better. So my third favorite of August is this brush and this is the one of the real techniques blending brush and this is great for the crease like I use it for my transition crease color I just cleaned it <laughs> first of all it's so soft and then secondly it just blends so good and this is the type of brush that you could push down as hard as you want to get that real like mm, I don't know how to explain it with this brush, you could blend awesome, girl. And my fourth favorite is another MAC product, and it's Fascinating Eyeliner. And yeah, I just put it in my waterline, and of course, bright colors for summer. And I just put it in. I don't have it on now, but... So yeah, it just gives you a pop. It makes your eyes look a little bit bigger, and you know... My tiny chinky eyes. Konnichiwa! So yeah, that does wonders for me. And the next thing on my list is Urban Decay's D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And as you could see, it's freaking dirty as hell, but don't judge me. Everyone I talk to that has this says that it attracts makeup like nothing. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, how the hell can it get this dirty? Like, come on, Urban Decay. I like their old packaging. Let me just say that. Do I have it somewhere? The regular all-nighter spray. And this is still half full. But I like this packaging. But my face gets really oily and I just put that on before and after my makeup and it I could really tell the difference. Like I do like the the in the nose test. Like I don't know, do you guys do that too? That is a lifesaver as well. And my last my last favorite is by New Me and it's just the finishing serum it looks like this and I've been using this before I like do any heat stuff with my hair like before I straighten it or curl it or whatever so yeah you'll see that in my tutorial if you watch my hair tutorial that I just did it says to use it with wet or dry hair so that's pretty cool so I hope you like my favorites of August, and let me know what your favorite products of August. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye!